React 87s make their mark. Matthew Williams resellers make bank and Nike goes Dutch. This is StockX Market Watch. This weekend saw the domestic debut of the much anticipated Nike React Element 87s. This is the first time since the Ultra Boost that a non collapsed sneaker had this much hype. And unlike Kawhi's Laker dreams, the 87s actually came through. Typically, sneakers either do big volume or big profit. And it's rare for a colorway to resell by the thousands and still go for double its retail price or more, especially without it being a major collab or retro. But the Sale React 87s did both, with over 2,000 sales in its first week and an average price premium of 124%. Among 2018 sneakers with at least 2,000 sales. That is the fifth highest price premium on record, trailing only the Off-Whites and Sean Wertherspoon 97, and ahead of the free throw line threes and Brett's O Jordans. But what's even more impressive, React profit margins have barely fallen in the days since it released. The resale price of a typical Yeezy can fall as much as 50% from pre-release to post-release. But the React 87 prices have fallen a mere 10% from their all-time high. Again, this is a non-collab non-franchise, no-name sneaker. There's no Jordan, no Virgil, no Kanye, no Drake. Nobody is backing it up. It's just a flat-out great sneaker giving the heat in your sock drawer some much-needed love. Our history is filled with underestimated underdogs who made it to the top on Pure Hustle. Little Orphan Annie, Rudy, The Great Gatsby, The Jamaican Bobsled Team, the Yours Truly. Now there's another name to add to that list, the React 87s. Respect. Turning on the streetwear! The all-black Matthew M. Williams collab is proving to be a gold mine for resellers, with profit margins close to the triple digits. The graphic tee, Kyger vests, and hybrid tights are all selling for nearly double retail, and the collection as a whole has an average premium well north of 70%. Now, the MLB may be on a break, but we've been expanding our streetwear catalog with new brands and collections to keep the hits coming. In addition to the Williams collab, we've also added the Carhartt Brain Dead collection and the Marche Noir capsule. As Supreme stays on summer break, stay tuned to see what else we add in the coming weeks. Turning now to the week ahead. This weekend, we got the Dutch artist Para dropping his third collaborative capsule with Nike, including some crazy Air Max ones that are already making some noise. Expect these to do some numbers. In streetwear, Kith is filling floral with their summer collection dropping for men and women this Friday. This is a must cop, especially if you're trying to get like Bieber and Baldwin with your bae this summer. Love. In other release news, the Devil's dropping Prada and wearing some Jordan 1s instead, with next week's noteworthy Vogue Air Jordan 1 release. Shout to Anna Wintour. My page is public for a reason. Holla at me. I see you, baby. We also got some pure white Jordan 3s that look like what a Pusha T album sounds like. Yuck. Plus free smoke, free smoke with the Jordan 10 light smokes on Saturday. And that's all for this week. For more StockX Market Insights, like and subscribe to us here. Follow at StockX on Instagram and Twitter, and check out our site and app. And if you plan to cop anything this weekend, let us know what in the comments below. We'll be sure to show you some love. Our history is filled with underestimated underdogs who made it to the top on Pure Hustle. Little Orphan Annie, Rudy, The Great Gatsby, The Jamaican Bobsled Team, and yours truly. Now there's another name to add to that list.